family. It is your girl Megan with the Rich Family, and I am back again with another video. Vlogmas day 10 to be exact. We made it to the double digits. We're almost halfway through the Vlogmas um, series. Um, so today is going to be, of course, Vlogmas day 10, but it's going to be um, another segment into my surgery series. So I've been getting a lot of questions in my Instagram, um, on my YouTube channel with just my overall experience with um, my laser lipro procedure with Sono Bello. So I figured I would just compile a little video together um, answering you guys' questions regarding my laser lipro procedure um, with Sono Bello. This may be a part two um, because I'm sure you all probably have more questions than what I have here. But I should be giving you all all the questions you could possibly have. Um, but if y'all, if I'm missing anything or if y'all have any other questions, just leave it in the comment box and I'll answer them or I'll do another video um, answering whatever questions that you may have. So, um, I had my procedure done on November 3rd. I got laser lipo in my upper abdomen, my lower abdomen, my, my waist, and my back rows. Um, initially, I was going to get what I just said along with my chin. Um, but when I went to my consultation with my doctor, Dr. Batuzzi, which who was my surgeon, which she was phenomenal, um, she suggested that I don't get the chin, that I get the extra skin removal. So a lot of you are like, when did Sonobello start doing tummy tucks? Sonobello does not do tummy tucks. Sonobello is not invasive. They're not invasive, which means they don't put you under. So um, invasive means that they put you to sleep. Like that's for stuff like the BBLs and things of that nature. I was terrified to get that. Um, not only like for the pain, like how long I'll probably possibly have to be down, but I just know like when surgeries like that, it's like a hit or miss. I'm not gonna say hit or miss like that, but I just know it's a higher risk with a surgery like that. Um, and I'm a new mom. I have kids, and I don't want to take that. I don't want to take that risk. Um, of doing something like that and possibly not making it and just to be honest I was scared so I opted out to get the laser lipo which I was trying to decide between laser lipo and my camera is moving laser lipo and I think it's something else called cool sculpting um, however cool sculpting to me just kind of seemed like like some of the stuff that I was getting done already like um what is it called um body contouring body contouring that's kind of what eye sculpting seems to me i wanted to go a little bit further than that because i was already doing body sculpting it was just this mommy pudge that i couldn't get rid of like the mommy pudge is it's not a, what's up like i said i had two kids back to back a two-year-old and a seven month old so um that's why i decided to get laser lipo now when i went in for my post-op appointment and i met my surgeon dr batuzzi and she suggested that I don't get the skin, that I get the skin removal. For one, I didn't even mentally prepare myself for that because I didn't even know that that was an option. I thought all they did was laser, laser lipo. But basically what she described to me, uh, what she described to me was that my stomach is already kind of hanging over, which it developed a lip, which I'm going to insert a picture right now. So how my stomach is already um, hanging over, she basically said, if I remove more fat, it's going to hang over more. You're not going to be happy with your results because it's not going to give you that snatched feeling. She knew I wanted to be snatched. I wasn't going to be snatched if I didn't remove the extra skin. So what I ended up getting was my upper abdomen, my lower abdomen, my waist, my back row, and skin removal. So the difference between skin removal and tummy tuck is skin removal is basically what it is, skin removal. I'm going to start another picture. This is a picture of how much fat they took out and how much skin they removed. That's what the skin removal is. When you when you're talking about tummy tuck and things of that nature, that's when okay. So when you you know when you get pregnant and your stomach like comes out like the diaphragm under your breast it opens up, uh, and when you when you're pregnant it slowly but surely starts to close up with wearing a waist trainer and working out. What a tummy tuck or BBL mommy maker was what they do is they go internal and they basically pull it all together and make it snatch and make it closed up and I'm okay with it not being flat all the way like I mean I think it's pretty flat but I guess it could be flatter if I was to get the mommy makeover so that's the difference tummy tuck is they actually go in and like pull your diaphragm together it's for people who have kids so if you don't have kids 
you don't have to worry about that. You don't even have to worry about the skin removal. Um, like for instance, my nurse, she got laser lipo, but she didn't get skin removal, and that's because she doesn't have kids. Um, I got skin removal because I have kids. So if you're wondering if you should get skin removal or not, for, for one, of course, ask your surgeon, but for two, if you don't have kids, you don't need it. Um, so that's what I got done. Um, of course, like I said, the office that I got it done is here in Atlanta, Atlanta Georgia. Um, my doctor was Dr. Patuzzi. Um, I got somebody recently that asked me a question. They was like, how was your experience at the Atlanta office? Because I read a ton of reviews and their reviews are bad. Yes, their reviews are horrible. I don't know why their reviews are like that because that is not the experience that I had whatsoever. Like at all. And I'm very funny with customer service. Um, I was like number one customer service person in San Antonio, Texas, which is where I'm from in, in high school and college. So I know all about customer service. So I'm really big on how I'm treated by companies, how I'm treated by businesses. I will walk out. I will cancel everything. I will get my money back. No. Because y'all going to treat me right if I'm spending money. So I'm very big on customer service. So I don't know why their reviews are like that because I was scared too. Reading those who wrote those reviews, I was petrified because I'm like, what? This is where I'm going to go get surgery at? Like, nah, we're going to have to cancel this. But something told me to go in and get my, like, my actual point of view, which I'm glad I did. Because if you're watching this video, you're most likely thinking about getting a laser lipo. And you're most likely researching and looking at YouTube videos and looking at TikToks, because that was me. I probably watch every single person's laser lipo video that there is on YouTube. Literally. Um, so... When I'm looking at their, theirs and I'm, I'm hearing their experience at their at their offices, I'm like, dang, like that's not the experience that I'm that I'm hearing that I'm gonna get with the Google reviews. Like I may want to go travel somewhere and do it because I don't think I want to do it here in Atlanta. And then I was kind of believing it a little bit because just based off of my experience here in Atlanta as it is, like people are rude here. They're rude. They have no manners at all. Like that's been like my biggest struggle here in Atlanta is dealing with people and their nasty attitudes. So I kind of believe the reviews, but when I went in, I got a completely different vibe, which it makes me want to, matter of fact, I'm going to go in there today and leave my review today because it makes me like want to go do that because it's like, yo, why are y'all tainted with reviews like this? Like it's, it could possibly be a lot of people turning around because they don't want to get treated how these reviews are saying you're going to get treated. And I'll be the one to tell you that it's an absolute lie. They're lying. Either they're lying or it has just gotten better in a, in little time. But I didn't experience it whatsoever. So the so the front staff is so welcoming. Um, they're nice and they're not, they're not just nice on my my first appointment, my post op. No, they've been nice throughout. When they call me, they're respectful. They ask how I'm doing. They check in on me uh, when I'm when I'm coming in. When I'm leaving, they're very very respectful. Um, the admission, well, I don't know if it's admissions, but I spoke to a Liz. Um, she was the one who did my consultation. Loved her. Top tier. Customer service through the roof. Very, very nice lady. N no bad, no bad, nothing from her. Um, my nurses, which I just know my favorite nurse's name and her name is Shanice. Um, she is from Jamaica, but almost every other nurse that I've ha that I've had they give me like that motherly feel auntie feel um very respectful very nice very knowledgeable they're they'll ease you through this entire process and then last but not least my personal doctor which is Dr. Basuzi which I'm not sure if you're able to um request a surgeon but if you're able to then definitely request Dr. Basuzi because she is top tier for sure sweet surgeon knowledgeable surgeon will not let you go in there and waste your money she'll tell you if you're getting something that you don't need and suggest you to get something that you do need which is which is what she did for me um she gives every every patient her personal number so i had her personal number throughout my entire procedure uh, my entire recovery process and i text her anytime i had a, a hint of a question or anything and she'll reply back she'll reply back she never gave me the impression that I was bothering her um, she was always there for me so if you're wondering if the if the Atlanta office is bad no they're not like I don't know why they have those reviews like that I'm gonna try to go in there and leave my review today but they have quite a few bad ones but they were actually a pretty good office like I didn't get any type of bad feeling from them at all um, so that's that's what I got um, that's the office I went to that's my surgeon 
Um, a lot of people are asking as far as my pain, which I pretty, I think I docu documented my pain and discomfort very well. I feel like the videos that I were watching with laser lipo, like people were telling me like how they felt after they got the surgery, but afterwards when they were feeling good, of course, of course, once you go through something at the end, it's like, oh, that wasn't that bad because I could easily say right now that that wasn't that bad. But during the process, which is why it was important for me to document my journey, because during the process, y'all seen like y'all seen how it was for me and it was not pretty it was not it was not peaches and cream at all um i was in pain i was uncomfortable i, I it, it was not just a walk in the park like yeah you can move around the next day and you know if you want to you can go to work but i'm just thankful that i do work from home um, i am an entrepreneur because i honestly don't see how i would have been able to do it because no um so um, it was days where my pain was like an 8 or 9 out of 10, but then it was days where it was like a 5, and there's days like today where it's 3. The only thing I have now is discomfort. I'm still sore to the touch. If I touch my stomach in some areas, if my son, like, you know, 7 with those are kicking, if he kicks me, it hurts because it's sore. Um, the, the thing that bothers me the most right now, if I just have to be completely honest, is the itching. I said it in my last video. I don't recall anyone that I've seen on YouTube tell me anything about itching like y'all. It's next level. The itching? Oh my god. It's like, the reason it's so bad is because 9 times out of 10, the, the itching is like internal. So like you're itching very, very bad and you're trying to get to it and you can't get to it because it's internal or you can't scratch it like you want to because you're sore or you're just vigorously scratching because it just itches so bad like it's three levels to it and those are three levels the itching it's horrible it's horrible and that's what I'm experiencing now like it makes me real irritable so what I take for the itching um, which if you're watching this video and you're still noticing it take Benadryl the Benadryl with I take a Benadryl with Tylenol because like I said I am still kind of uncomfortable um, I take that once a day and, I, I, and I'm good throughout the day um, I wanted to get off my gab I wanted to get off my gabapentin because I didn't want to be I didn't want to need medicine like that um, but the gabapentin gabapentin and Tylenol are two different things Tylenol is for pain gabapentin is for your nerve pain so here and there, um, I feel like a jabbing sensation, like a knife is going into me. And that's because your nerves are getting its feelings back. Um, so it's going to hurt. You're going to feel those jabbing sensations. Like sometimes I have to freeze up and be like, ouch, and let the pain go by and then it'll go by. But yeah, that pain is, is next level. Um, I suggest taking the Benadryl for, for the itching, taking your gabapentin if you're experiencing the, the knife-like pain. And then if you just have discomfort, take Tylenol. Make sure you're drinking a lot of water. Make sure you're walking around um, and things of such. So here's my before picture of how I looked before I got surgery. Um, here is my picture during surgery um, and you know how snatched I look on the table um, and here is a picture of me in an outfit um, about two to three weeks post-op which the outfit is outfitting like when I said I wanted the outfit to outfit this is what I meant no pudge just flatness um, and I am happy with my results I'm so happy I'm so thankful that I went through it um, if you all see my process or, or my my series and y'all see that I went through I'm gonna I'm gonna attach every one of my surgery videos below in my description box so you can just go on the journey with me but oh my gosh I went through it it was plenty of times where I was regretting what I went through and it's crazy because my surgeon said this she said you're gonna go through a stage of oh my god why did I do this oh my god I don't see any change oh my god like you're gonna go through those stages and I went through every stage like I went through the stage of like oh my god I can't believe I did this and then I went through a stage of because me being so swollen I was like ew like I don't see no results like what is going on um but now I see them and I'm very very happy um, about my results my incision is fully closed um I have the scar tape on it now which is what they gave me in my one month post-op appointment which is in my video that I recorded a few days ago so go back and look at that video if you want to see what they gave me um but I know you are probably wondering the cost because I got a lot of people that was asking me the cost so um for just the laser lipo 
they so everybody's price is going to be different so even though i'm telling you my price your price may be way cheaper than mine's or maybe expense more expensive than mine's because they go off of the, your bmi um so depending on what your bmi is and, and what parts of your body you want done your price is going to be very different so please do not compare my price to what yours could possibly be um because everybody's price is different but i will tell you my pre-weight was 185 um my height is was 53 I don't remember what my BMI was. I could probably attach it in my description box once I get the information. I don't remember what it was, but um, for the, the the for the total cost of just my laser lipo part of the surgery, um, they had quoted me like eighty five hundred. Uh, but they gave me a thousand dollars off if I paid in full, which I did. I used my American Express card and got my Delta Sky Miles. Period. Um, so I only had to pay seventy five hundred for just the lipo, for just the lipo. Now, when it came to me doing my pre-op appointment, when she suggested that I don't get the chin, that I get my skin removal, for just my skin removal, it they charged me $3,800. So $3,800 was what they charged for my skin removal. And um, $7,500 is what they charged me for my laser lipo. So I spent roughly $11,300 on just the surgery alone. Just the surgery alone. Like, I have to make sure I... I just the surgery alone because I've spent roughly as of now I spent roughly $700 on my lymphatic massages which is crucial to your recovery you must include this in your budget if you're gonna get laser lipo I spent roughly 700 and I could see at the end of this whole process I could see me spending about 2000 maybe 2500 on lymphatic massages alone. I'm actually going tomorrow. Um the good thing is my lady has a package that I could buy which is for four different for four massages and it's roughly $400 for 60 minutes. I go twice a week so y'all could do the math with that. Um the massages are expensive but they're crucial to your recovery process. Um so I definitely suggest that you attach that to your budget as well. Another thing that you want to attach to your budget, Fajas. I spent at least $500 on Fajas. Why? Because my stomach is a small now, um, but these thighs and this ass is roughly a large, extra large, maybe even a 2X. So I keep, I'm on the search for a Faja that compresses my stomach well because you want your stomach to be compressed. Um, at all times because if not it's going to get swollen and you're going to get lumpy and bumpy your stomach must be compressed during your recovery process while you're wearing a faja for 24 hours for the first three months you must have good compression the problem with that is okay i can get good compression in my stomach a small in my stomach but my thighs are way bigger than that so what's happening is my faja is causing for circulation to be cut off on my thighs and my private area because it's just so tight down there they don't make fajas big thigh friendly okay um so i've been purchasing multiple fajas to try to try them out i found one that i like but it didn't compress my stomach good, but it did my thighs perfect. Um, there's another place that I just found yesterday, and I found a Faja, and I saw a bunch of reviews with people that got the same surgery as I did that, you know, claim that they have big legs and, and big big butts and stuff like that, and they said that the Faja is superb. Like, they're glad that they found it, and that Faja was $200. That's the most I've spent on a Faja so far, but I'm going to spend it because I need to have something that's going to compress my stomach well and um, protect these thighs as well so definitely put a budget aside for your massages and your fajas because you're definitely going to need it i'm also supposed to be getting my venus treatments because with with the rate i it includes i believe two or three venus treatments which is basically skin tightening and cellulite removal um and they will call you will call you and schedule that out for you after your one month post-op appointment because it always it already comes with your package as it is but Include a budget for your massages, include a budget for your fajas, do your research, make sure that you're, you know, you're getting something that you actually need, make sure you have a proper diet, don't eat a lot of salt, drink plenty of water, drink, you know, drink plenty of water, um, no alcohol, no smoking, um, and yeah, your results will be top tier. I'm going to start working out now, which I'm going to do light cardio and stuff like that, because um, it's not a weight loss Thing. You're like, yeah, it's going to give you a jump start, but you want to make sure that you're doing what you have to do to maintain the res those results. And to do that, massages, fajas, eating well, 
exercise. If you do those four things, you will be tremendously happy with your results. So these are all the questions that you all asked me that I have written down. I don't have any other questions written down, but if y'all have any questions that I didn't answer, type them in the comment box and I'll either make a part two video or I'll just answer you. Um, and yeah, so that is my laser lipo Q&A um, update with Sona Bello. So thank you all for tuning into this video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, cut on your post notifications, um, just so you can be along with me on my surgery journey because I do an update at least every week on my surgery journey. Um, I have about five plus videos on my channel as well right now if you would like to see. You can also follow me on Instagram, lovelymeg underscore. Um, but if you want to email me, if maybe maybe you're not comfortable typing in the description box or writing me on Instagram, you can email me at partneringwithdrf at gmail.com and I'll answer your questions as well. As well. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video and hopefully you stay along to continue to watch my um, Vlogmas series, um, which we do a ton of vlogs. Um, myself and my spouse, we are entrepreneurs. We're in the, into the investing world, so Forex, crypto, NFTs is what we do. So if that's, if that's something that you want more information or just wants to see how it works or how you can get involved, Bob, follow along to this, this channel, subscribe, cut on your post notifications, and join in on the journey. Thank you all for watching this video, and I will see you all on the next video. Bye.